me, so I made it here to the Boston Freedom Rally. Setting up right now. Uh, so Immortal Techniques booths right here. We're right here. Stone and Rob's right here. Gave out. And uh, 450. Stage is over there. Come on! Show party! Where's the beef? That's like the These are expensive. But this is the special area. Some of the characters I base on real people. And we're making a new one. And it's based on you. Like what? Go on. So, hands are doing good. Stickers are doing really good. I'm Bob Patillo. I'm Patillo. I'm Patillo. I just hosted some, you know, the Boston Freedom Rally. Nick. Hi. You don't want to be in No, Boston. I'll do it, yeah. I was here. I'm Nick D'Amico. You do Got karaoke it. or something, I heard? Yeah, I need productions karaoke on Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays. Boston, no big deal. Don't worry about it. All, hey, all day long. All night. Doing pretty good so far, guys. The hatch are uh, flying off the shelf. We had a week notice to put a merch table together. We only got half the merch table and stuff. We actually had the full merch table for 75% of the event. We should have made shirts. Why did we make shirts? I made business cards. You can't sell business cards. We had to fly. Tried. Anyways, tried. Can't sell it's not about either of us. It's about Dave Kimball. If you don't mind me right now, my throat's a little bit, I've been screaming Immortal Technique, a lot of wild things happening in this park, it's the new Woodstock, but this is what I was waiting for, guys, because we're a crew up there. I'm going to open this box in front It's here. like tearing into a box of 1989 Flair, looking for the Billy Rippin' Duck face. Oh my head! Oh my god! That shirt's amazing. That shirt's Yeah, what do we got in here? Absolutely. First off... He made flyers, incredible, short notice, gave out 450 of these. That's Dave. Oh my head, finally. Yeah, that just, oh man. That is the prototype one, so. You know it's what a that is? No, dude, that's a fucking fork and melon shirt. Oh, it's the fork and melon. I thought, I thought, it, was a, I thought it was a movie. It's dark out. I like the bowl at Sunnyside Bowling Alley up in Peabody, Massachusetts. They have hot chocolate that tastes like chalk out of the vending machines, but this is my shirt, man. This is a networking shirt. When you see this shirt on my body, you know it's about to close a major deal. This is how it is. That's a one on one, too, you know. Oh, my God. I wonder what this smells like. This, is this scented? It's a car. Oh, I can't wait. The funny thing is, people were asking, hey, what does this one smell like? What's the scent? It's a fork and you melon. Say vanilla? Yeah, I was like, what's that, Nick? Can I guess the smell? What do you think? What smell do you think it is? I just woke at the camera close. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to put it softly under his nose. The fork and melon car. The smell it test. It smells like watermelon with a fork inside of it. The forks don't have smells, so it's watermelony. It's very good. I gotta tell My you. My eyes aren't bleeding right now. <laughs> I'm horny right now. Yeah, it smells like I'm just gonna go to blah. Like really good to You should rub it on your body before you go down to the karaoke nights. Or maybe just or to the strip club. Or the strip club. Like or the strip club. Golden banana. This is incredible. Oh my god, a koozie. Koozies. You have a variety of koozies. What? A shark, a shark, a shark. Oh, that's shark, incredible, man. A lot of things make sense today. We had like a young lady up on stage, Sharky Girl, running around a pink shark outfit. Might have gotten a third base with her in front of a festival capacity crowd in Boston Common on the stage, but I was like a motorboat. But it's not about me, it's about this shark koozie. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It doesn't gorgeous. smell gorgeous. 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 Look out. Oh, can I, I just really this guy behind us knows he's like decked out in everything. I know a no thing when I see it. No, 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 no. Nick, what Nick, what are Nick, what are Nick, what are Nick, what are Nick, Nick, what did you do? What did you do? Uh, two second rule, two second rule. Yeah, everything still smells just like melons. I can like still melons. eat it. Alright, they're starting to get the ATVs, like the AT, you know, the stuff that knocked down the wicked ATL. You know, they're starting to come through here. There's going to be concussion grenades. So let's keep doing it. I thought, just, this, um, I thought we were done. I didn't know. No, just a yeah. fucking hot thing. Oh, this is You might even want you to go through. Wow, there's pens in here, too. Look at that. Yeah, you got the whole pin collection. Shirt upside oh, down. Man. 
There we go. Thank you, Dave. Can I get a blazer a made of this? Fork and melon. I think we can make that happen, actually. I need blazers. A fork and melon head. Ten. To match the hat, yeah. I mean, the shirt. Yeah, you wear that on your shirt, and then it's 3D. Your shirt's now 3D. Whoa. Yeah, 3D shirt. And you can wrap this around your shirt. Oh, yeah, like now a necklace. You, now you smell the shirt. But and obviously the stereotypical stereotype show. Join it. Facebook. Classy page. You know, Dave's an artist, man. It's what everything at Warhol wanted to be. Yeah, we didn't great. get into like the math and hanging out with like Lou Reed too much. I know. But Dave's cool, man. He's the type of guy when he gets his own Warhol factory, it's not gonna be weird and like B list of drug addicts. It's gonna be like fork and melon shirts, bowling, craft sodas, a whole warehouse. Probably a mini arcade with really good cabinets from the 80s. Oh, while, while I have you, we'll finish, to we're going to uh, end it up. I got, I got a surprise for you, Robbie. Really? There's more. So, some of the characters I base on real people. Yeah. And we're making a new one, and it's based on you. Go on. So, what his name is, he is Rocky Road Steamer. <laughs> and he's going to be Rocky Road Ice Cream that boxes, but he's going to look resemble you. We're gonna have Rocky Road Steamer boxes. How do you no, box a boxer like Rocky. Like what? Box. How does ice cream box? Is it gonna image. be in a cone or is it gonna be in a cup? A boxer like yo, like Tommy, yeah. which you wipe. Rocky Road Steamer. Is he gonna be in a cup yo. or in a cone? Yo, that's it, Tommy. Uh, it's gonna be in a cup. Yeah. Come on, Tommy. So that's it. With a cone hat. Oh, with a cone hat. Right. Just not an all white cone. I want to do fudge more snow alone. Dip fudge cone. Episode five. Yo, you so, yeah. got him down. You got me down. Yeah. We're definitely gonna work on that for uh, 2022. Dude, next yeah. year, when we're doing this festival, that merch table uh, yeah. is gonna be loaded. Rocky Road Steamer. I'm gonna have the hat on with the ice cream. And uh, he's probably gonna have hot dogs and applesauce as, as his buddies. This is the new Seattle. And maybe a broken car uh, condom character or something. Beautiful. What are you gonna call the broken condom character? Dreams. You wanted Nick to be. I, did, I was just, I was hoping I was gonna I mean, get that's it. That's why I wore the jacket. Today. How about we make you like Nick the Pico and you're like salsa? Uh, yeah, Ooh. I want to be Pico. Dude, is Let that not Pico. spicy? Pico me up, seriously. And then maybe we can sell it to Adult Swim. It's like a little mini series. That's right. Like yeah, that's the plan. Rocky Road Steamer, Nick the Pico. <laughs> I need my, I need my, I already got the voice. You good? Okay, don't do that. It's good. It's a good voice. All right, it's say good. bye to everybody. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Goodbye. Bye, Dave. Get out there. We're gonna live oh, forever. I don't, don't want. I, I don't want the shirt back. Take the shirt. What's happening, actually. All right, we're out of here. Do what you were talking about. Now, this is like Action Bronson's stoner book, you know, Stone Beyond Belief. And he left a section in the book, kind of like, uh, kind of like a yearbook, you know, where people can sign, write a message. Dave so, Tree. Yeah, he's the first person to sign my book. I'd really be honored if you'd be the second. And it's my second autograph, so it's perfect. Dude, that's perfect. And uh, my name's Dave too. So, so you, it's like, yo. So it's like a double Dave you know disaster page. Uh, Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> this is gonna be a messy autograph, but that's all right, man. I'm trying to brace it for you the best I can. Oh, you're a lefty too. I bro. am. That's crazy. I man. appreciate it. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, me, her. We're both our fans.